Let's talk about CloudWatch. This is one of the core services in AWS. It integrates with tons of other services and is a really good one to know about. We're going to go through all the metrics and charts and everything here, but first let's talk about what it is and why you would even be using it. So you built out an awesome application and you deployed it to AWS, out to your EC2 instances, your databases, what have you. It's just out there running in the wild. So now what? You probably have all kinds of questions about what's happening as it's running out there. Like what does the website traffic look like? How is performance? How much bandwidth is my app using? Are my compute resources optimized? And more. If you've done any on-premises development in the past, you might be used to just logging into various machines, checking how things are going, but there are limitations to what you can do in the cloud. So that's why we have CloudWatch. CloudWatch gives you visibility into your AWS resources and applications. You can set up metrics to measure pretty much anything, like CPU, disk usage, GPU utilization, and so on. CloudWatch logs allow you to collect logs from AWS or non-AWS sources and then you can search through those logs. For example, maybe you want to collect application logs from an EC2 instance, and then you can query them for certain keywords. You can also set up alarms that will trigger emails or text messages for different metrics. Say, for example, you want to get an alert when an EC2 instance has reached 90% CPU utilization. And then finally, CloudWatch metrics can be displayed on a dashboard, which gives you a nice at-a-glance view of how things are going. So that's really high level what the service is all about. Now let's dive into CloudWatch metrics a little bit more, since that's what drives everything else, and starting with our namespaces. All of your metrics will live in a namespace, which is essentially just a container for the metrics. You'll see some of the standard namespaces here, DynamoDB, EBS, and so on. You can also create your own custom namespace if you want to. And then the metrics themselves are just a time-ordered set of data points that are published to CloudWatch. We'll see an example in just a second. And then just a note that these are region specific. So different regions can have different AWS metrics as standard. And then if you create your own custom metrics, those will only exist in the region where you created them. Here's an example metric, one for CPU utilization on an EC2 instance. So that's the name of the metric, the thing that we're monitoring. You can kind of think of it as a variable. And then the values of that variable will change over time, and each value will have a timestamp as well. And then just a few more details here about monitoring. There's two different kinds that you can do. The first is basic. This is supported by most AWS services, and it's enabled automatically on those services where it is. It's free of charge, and the metrics are published at five-minute intervals versus detailed monitoring. This is only supported by some services, and it does have to be manually activated. There are extra costs associated with this, but for that extra cost, you get metrics published more frequently at one minute intervals. So it's helpful if you really need to quickly know how things are performing, and you can't wait for that initial five minutes with basic monitoring. And then related to those intervals, but slightly different, we have metric resolution. Their standard resolution, which gives you granularity of one minute. For example, if a CPU utilization value was captured at 1516 seconds, it would have a timestamp of 1500. So you can't drill down to anything less than a minute. And then with high resolution, you can get as granular as one second. So that same CPU utilization that we just talked about would have a timestamp of 1516 seconds. Now, I know that might be a little bit confusing given what we just talked about with basic and detailed monitoring, where we were talking about one minutes and five minutes. So how is this different or how is this the same? Let me give you a couple of examples that combine the two. So we've got basic monitoring with high resolution. That means the data is published every five minutes and you can drill down to a specific second. So the basic monitoring part, that's how often your data is published meaning you couldn't see that first data until five minutes had passed. And then subsequent data, you're only going to get that every five minutes as well. But the data is captured more frequently, and you can drill down into it based on the resolution. Second example, we've got detailed monitoring with standard resolution. So here your data is published every one minute, and you can drill down to a specific minute. So again, the monitoring type, 
basic or detailed, is how often it's published, one minute or five minutes, and then resolution is how granular it is, one minute or one second. Okay, so with that theory out of the way, let's go take a look at things in the console. Out here in the console, I've navigated to CloudWatch, and then here on the left hand, Navigation, come under Metrics, and then All Metrics. And over here, you'll see the things that are being tracked automatically for you out of the box. I mentioned earlier that these are region specific. So if we were to change our region here from Oregon to, let's say, Northern California, you'll see that we have different metrics. So if you're looking for a metric that you can't find, chances are you might just need to toggle your region right here. So just a heads up on that. But let's click into one of these namespaces, let's say EC2. We've got metrics around auto scaling groups, but let's go to the metrics per instance. And then if you look at the metric name here, you'll see we have all kinds of things, network out, network packets in, disk read bytes, CPU utilization, disk write ops. There's just tons of things here. You can see in this column here on the left, that we've also got the instance ID. This is the instance ID of your EC2 instance. If you're ever looking for just one particular instance, you can just hover over it and hit the plus sign to add to search. And that'll narrow it down to just that one particular instance. This can be really helpful if you have tons of instances, but you're only concerned about one of them. You can also undo that. Now, I do have one instance. If we go look at my list of instances back here, I've got one called My CloudWatch Instance. It is currently stopped, but I did start it up earlier, so we should have some metrics for it. If we come back here to our metrics, Let's look for that instance name, and then we'll filter just by that. My CloudWatch instance, perfect. Filter this, and then let's go select some metrics. Scrolling down, let's take a look at CPU utilization. So I'll just click this metric right here. And then up here on the top, we've got some values. If you don't see something up there, you might need to adjust your date or time range up here. So it looks like I started this about three hours ago. If I had this filtered down to just one hour ago, then I wouldn't see anything here. So you might need to adjust some things. We'll go back to the three hours. You can also change days, weeks, months, and so on, or even down to the minute. But we're good with that three hours. If you need to zoom in on something, what you can do is just hover over it until your mouse turns to this plus sign, then just drag it over, and that will zoom you in. You can continue doing that to zoom in as much as you want. To zoom out, just come over here and click on the Reset Zoom. You can also add additional metrics here just by clicking on them. So let's go down to the Network In and Network Out. Network Out. And scrolling down to Network In. And then again, we can zoom in on these to get more detail. Now, thinking back to our basic versus detailed monitoring and the resolution and everything that we talked about, we are using basic monitoring here. That's the default that's enabled. So if we hover over here, my data is being published every five minutes. So we've got the 1835, and then the next publish time was 1840, 1845, and so on. So published every five minutes but you'll see that if you hover over just a tiny bit and back up, that we're getting 1844, 1843, 1842, and so on. So I've got a resolution of every one minute, meaning the data is being captured and it's there, but it's only published every five minutes because I'm using basic monitoring. So hopefully that helps to tie everything together for you. You can also change how the data is displayed. So up here, rather than a line chart, we could try something like a stacked area or a number chart. Depending on your data, some of these may or may not make any sense. Let's try a data table. There we go. We've got min, max, sum, average, and so on. And then up here, you can take different actions, like adding it to a dashboard, downloading as a CSV, and so on. So those are the basics of getting around in the CloudWatch console. But CloudWatch metrics appear in various other places within AWS, a lot of the other services, and so on. For example, if we come back to our instances and select on my CloudWatch instance here, come into the Monitoring tab, 
And here you'll see CloudWatch goodness as well. It looks like for this one, I need to adjust my time range. So let's go back the three hours again. And now I've got some things. If you hover over these, you'll see that we've got data. And there's a bunch of standard charts here as well. And this can sometimes be easier than going into CloudWatch, selecting your individual metrics and so on. And then one final thing to mention here, if you do want to enable detailed monitoring, you need to do that at the service level. So here in EC2, for example, we could say manage detailed monitoring. You would enable it here. And clicking that would enable it for this particular instance. Remember, there is a cost associated with this, so I'm not going to do it here. But that's how you would enable it if you need to get your data published more frequently than the five minutes. Okay, so that's the scoop on CloudWatch, why you would use it, how the metrics work, and how to get around in the console. If you found that helpful, give me a thumbs up on the video, and also consider subscribing for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.